Hey guys, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. I'm here at Laguna Niguel Lake. It's a little before 8 a.m. You can see the sun's out, but it's really foggy this morning. I have two lines out right now. It's a Wednesday morning and uh, they still haven't stalked a little lake. We're hoping that the stock will happen today, but we don't know. So uh, right now, I have a mouse tail cast out along with an inflated night crawler. So we'll see which one works. We all fall down, we get banged up, but the scars show what we're made of. Dust off, tell me what you're made of. I can't hear you. After landing this fish, not much happened for over an hour. So I moved on here. I'm right in front of the old concession stand and I spotted some boils underneath this bridge. It made for a tricky cast, but I managed to get my bait exactly where I wanted it. And it was hit almost instantly. This is probably the biggest fish of the day. And uh, I didn't have a net long enough to reach down into the water. As you can see, I'm elevated on this platform. So fortunately for me, I managed to walk the fish to the edge here and the gentleman the angler to my right lent me his net and here's a shot of this beautiful fish <laughs> There was definitely a small school of fish right underneath this bridge, which made for a very tricky cast, but I managed to land another bait right in the perfect location. And sure enough, I hook into another trout. Now I did bring a net with me, but it was the, it's the net that I use for my kayak and it was not nearly long enough to reach down into the water from this height. So fortunately for me, another angler saw me fighting this fish and he brought over his, you can see that long handled net and he was able to grab that fish for me. Pink and white. Carolina. So I caught that big guy on a mouse tail. And the cool thing about mouse tails is if you build your own, you can do all sorts of color combinations. So that one was caught on a white tail and a pink power egg. But I have all sorts of color combinations in this, but only this combination seems to be working today. Again. I'm going to dip it in garlic, bite on garlic, and I'm just using a split shot to set up this Carolina rig. And that seems to be the secret today. Fish on, baby. This next trout bit into an orange power egg combined with that white colored power worm. So once again, as long as you're combining that white power worm with any color power egg, you were bound to get bit today. It was just wide open. Keep in mind, I'm using four pound test. So that was just enough to bounce this trout out of the water and onto the dock. Up 
I'm gonna try white and a chartreuse head this time. After making so many of those awkward casts, I decided to move to the other side of the bridge where it was much easier to place my bait exactly where I knew the fish were. And every time I was getting bites. Here, a trout bit right into it and then spit the hook, it came right off. The power worm was all twisted on my hook. I had to straighten it back out. But then as soon as I recast it, I was hit almost immediately. Got him. What a great way to start off the new year. Take a look at this beautiful stringer. So I'm going to take off the largest fish here. He had a slight hook jaw to him. Really wanted to see how much he weighed. Fortunately, I did bring my digital scale. I had forgotten to bring my reading glasses with me this morning, so it was a bit difficult to see, but this guy came in at just under two pounds, so decent fish for this lake. Once again, I can't stress enough the importance of using different tactics when fishing for trout in these small lakes. I started off the day using inflated night crawlers and different color combinations of mice tails. Eventually, I found that the white colored power worm work best with any colored power egg. So once I discovered that formula, the rest was easy. I was able to get my limits relatively quickly right after that. This is the kind gentleman that helped me net my fish today. As you can see, he's very well prepared. He's a regular here. He has that giant net. So I ended up giving him three of my fish. I gave the other two to a nice couple right next to him. I'm hoping to continue this streak as I fish more fresh water tomorrow and the next day. So stay tuned. I will be posting more videos in the coming days. Thanks again for watching and please give this video a thumbs up. Look at this one. It's got a little hook jaw. Look at that. Yeah. That's nice. He's almost two pounds.